Hello, and welcome to another video. Uh, this is a question that I get asked almost every stream, <laughs> which is, hey, you look like you're, you know, somewhat all right at code. How long have you been programming for? And how did you get started? And et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I actually don't have any code to show for this stream, so this is all just gonna be my face. So sorry, sorry you get to see my face for a video. Um, but I started coding when I was about 10 years old, which at the time of recording, I guess this dates the video, at the time of recording, this is about 10-ish years ago, or sorry, 10, I can't, I can't math, 18-ish years ago. Um, and some of the first code that I wrote was to cheat on math homework. Um, we were doing the quadratic formula, which, you know, for triangles and such, um, or for... Uh, you know, parabolas or however however you're dealing with um, quadratic formulas. And I was sick of typing in that damn equation so many times into my calculator that I decided to try and automate it. And I was actually, I actually have the calculator here that I wrote the original program on, uh, but we had to wipe it for doing AP tests. So I actually don't have the original program. Um, but the original code that I wrote was for this super expensive, for dumb reasons, the TI-84, uh, although I, it might have been on a TI-83. I think it was on this calculator, though. Um, I wrote a small little program that uh, was a quadratic formula solver where you would just, you know, it'd prompt you for A, B, and C, and you would type them in, and it would spit out whether there were solutions or not, and, you know, saved a bunch of time. I remember there was this one worksheet that we had where we just had, like, 30 of these quadratic formula problems and you just were supposed to type in that that thing in over and over and over and i was like nah i don't, I don't have time for this we're just gonna make a program that does this um i later learned that even the ti-84 actually has a solver and so <laughs> i didn't need to write a program for it but it was it was nice to write a program um, and an interesting thing about that program is not everyone in my classroom had a TI-84 calculator, so they didn't, they didn't necessarily have access to programming capabilities. Um, and so when I wanted to, you know, share this code with some of my classmates so that they could, you know, also take advantage of not having to type this out, um, I found that it was difficult to do so because, you know, their calculator wasn't as powerful. And so what I did was I ported this program from ti basic to visual basic which actually was pretty similar um, i want to say it was visual basic 5 at the time uh, but i wrote this code in a microsoft word document as a word macro <laughs> so that like you know you would open this word document and there'd be like a little button in the middle and you would click the button it would pop up a form that had text boxes and you would fill out the text boxes and press press submit or whatever um, and it would you know message box the the answer um, and this actually showed me, I guess, maybe the first like magical moment of programming to me in that like I could take this this Microsoft Word document, I could put it on a, well, at the time it was a floppy disk, and I could distribute this floppy disk to my, uh, to my peers and they would be able to benefit from the code that I wrote. Um, so in a way it was kind of showing me that like, you know, I could put in the effort once and then many people could reap the benefits of that code. Um, it might be why I'm so interested in like working on open source and stuff nowadays. But anyway, that was that was some of the uh, first first code that I wrote, and hopefully this answers that question and you guys found this interesting. Uh, if you have additional questions that you would like me to answer, you know, leave a comment below, um, or you know, <laughs> show up to my stream and ask questions there, and I'll eventually, hopefully, record videos for them. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.